Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz and today I am doing a comparison as promised between the Amazon Echo Dot and the Google Nest Mini. And uh, can we get some room please? Uh, obviously we've got a Devo over here <laughs> trying to take up over all the room. Anyways, today we're going to compare the two, the do's, the don'ts and things like that. So for starters, we're going to start out with the price. Cost wise, they're going to be about $49, $50, give or take. And I say that give or take just because there's always deals going on. You can always get, you know, depending on what the source that you get it from, there may be different perks, um, such as if you go to Google, you may get free shipping versus, you know, Best Buy. I believe I seen, I don't remember if it's the Echo or the Echo Dot. So I do apologize on that confusion, but I seen where they have um, different versions. You can get a smart plug for free and things like that. On the Echo Dot, there is also a version of it that has, where it kind of lights up, as Google does right here, you see the little lights, they do have a version where it has the time. To give you a comparison and an idea, as part of the reason why I'm using the Google, it has the Echo, has the time on here as well. And that's gonna be for an additional $10. Not sure how important the clock is for you or not, but I'd rather keep my $10 personally. <laughs> Which is part of the reason why I don't have this to demonstrate on this dot right here. Another aspect of it, obviously you can tell the difference between the looks. They both have more of a cloth-like top fabric as well as a plastic bottom version of it. As far as the nest goes, one of the downsides on it, if you lay it flat, you're not necessarily going to get a notification on it because depending on the angle on it, if you're if it's more like an eye level, pretty much everything. I'm pretty sure my, myself, I'm 5'3", so if I'm sitting down or something like that, it's high up on a shelf, I might not be able to notice it, but I do know that they do have a hook on the back, so if you want to hang it up or something like that, it'd give a better version of it. This is very, very frustrating for me as well on the Echo Dot, is the fact it's on the bottom. And if anything's in front of it, you know, even if the cloth is bunched up on this one, luckily this fabric's a little bit thicker, so I can't necessarily leave it <laughs> bunched up unless we have the little Debo that's going to cause any chaos over here, which he likes to do. He likes to jump off the, his cat tree and easily slide the, <laughs> the fabric. So that can cause a little bit of frustration. I, there's been times where I've called both Google or the Echo and it doesn't light or it doesn't register. Maybe the internet's not working or it's just being like kids do and don't listen. <laughs> I was one of those children that really hardly listened. So that's the reason why I speak from experience. Um, I don't have any kids on my own. So, well, I got two fur babies and they don't really listen. <laughs> Another difference between the two is the colors that it comes in. Which you've got the chalk color right here. You've got sky coral, which is kind of, to me, coral is more of an orangey color, but it's, it's from the images that I've seen, it looks kind of more of a, a pinkish color. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on what coral you're looking at because I have seen it where it's more pinkish and more oranges. But here are the colors right here that you can see. They also have sky as well as charcoal, which is going to mimic the dot color that I have currently. So you have a few options with it, whatever you want to go with your decor. That's one of the things that I like about the design is that it does have a little bit more of a decor look to it rather than just a speaker. You know, it's able to blend in a little bit better. So that way you have um, another reason for it, for you to pick out the color scheme that you want to match your decor. Now, as far as dot goes, there's only going to be three options, which is kind of a bummer because I like options. And those three colors is going to be the charcoal color that you see right here, as well as twilight blue, which is going to look like this color, it's glacier right. white, which is going to mimic a little bit more towards the Google Nest color, at least I assume. Again, these are all images that I've seen online. And I know that with, depending on your computer screen, it can have, you know, be skewed a different way. I have not seen them in person. One advantage about Echo that I do like is the fact that it has what they call Alexa guard. Huh, she's listening today. <laughs> As you've seen the light light up. And ex what exactly is Alexa guard? It's going to be a loose version of a security system. So if you're leaving the house, just let your speaker know that you're leaving, it's going to listen a little bit more carefully as far as any sound, any glass breaking or any smoke detectors and things like that. It's gonna be very minimal, so I will let you guys know that because there is a paid version and that's gonna cover a little bit more. 
I personally have not used the Alexa Guard mainly because I'm always home. <laughs> <laughs> which obviously she doesn't like based off that response. Like I said, I mentioned I can list off and give you a list such as this one right here, the difference between the free version and the paid version, which is $4.99 a month. The difference is, but again, I don't have any personal experiences. Fortunately, I don't have any, haven't had any incidences with any glass breaking or anything like that. Parents, that might be good for you guys too. It may not be a break, it might be kids. <laughs> I've seen, you know, TV show, sitcoms and movies and things like that where, you know, kids love to break glass. <laughs> Again, not a personal experience. I do know that the Nest Audio has, they have the Nest Aware. I did not see it listed for the Mini. So if it, if it does, if it is available on the Mini, they haven't updated their site to let me know. <laughs> so they both do have recycled products in here, um, whether it be plastic or fabric or the aluminum that's in the products, including in the charging cords. One thing that is very, 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 very frustrating for me in general, as far as these speakers go, yes, they're Bluetooth, which is absolutely great. However, they both have to be plugged in at all time to be able to use them. So as soon as I unplug them, you know, pretty much they're no good. <laughs> it's just going to be a paper, uh, pretty expensive paperweight. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for them to have rechargeable batteries on them so that way if you do want to travel, you know, maybe go to the beach, which oh, I really want to go to the beach, or, you know, just being outside and you want to take the speaker without having to worry about a cord tripping over, that's one of the advantages that they need to have a rechargeable because Speaking of Bluetooth, they both have Bluetooth support on so it. So that way you can control your phone. They both have apps to them as well. A couple of differences between the two. Google has a 360 sound to it, so it doesn't matter which position. So you and I both can hear the same quality of sound on both ends rather than you getting a better sound versus me or vice versa. Unfortunately, on the Amazon Echo, they only have front firing sound. So therefore, you guys are going to have a better or hear it better than I am. Granted, I mean, if it's loud and good quality enough, which we're going to test out in a minute, you know, it really doesn't matter which angle you're one advantage to the another advantage to the Amazon is the fact that it does have a 3.5 millimeter jack in the back. So if you are wanting to plug it up directly, you can easily do that. Unfortunately, Nest does not have that. I'm going to go ahead and set both of the volumes to 50% or five because I know Amazon goes by one through 10 versus Google goes through one through a hundred. So I'm going to set them both at halfway. So that way we can test out the sound and then we're going to set it up to hundred percent and we can hear, see if we can hear a difference or see if it makes a difference on the volume on whether the sound quality is good or not. Okay, Google set volume to 50%. I think it set it to 50%. <laughs> one way that you can guarantee that you do have the volume set to the loudness that you want is simply by going to their app and Google Home. Okay, so it is set at 50% right now. Alexa, set volume to five. That's another thing that I do like about Amazon is the fact that it does show you what, or at least gives you an idea of what the volume is set at based off the notification ring down here below. I don't know if Google set the volume to what I requested or not, unless I look at the app. I can't just look at the speaker itself. So that's a bit of a dis disadvantage. All right, we're gonna go ahead and test it out. Part of the reason why I'm having to use my, my laptop is because the music that I'm playing is only downloadable and I'm not able to do that directly with Amazon because they want to use a different source such as Spotify or another paid service, subscription service for their music or YouTube directly. I've come in with some issues using unlicensed music through YouTube music, so I'm having to make sure that I have 100% unlicensed music, which is the reason why I'm using this source. All right, we're gonna go ahead, obviously, since Alexa volunteered first, we're gonna go ahead and play music on that one. Okay, 
it just completely stopped on its own. I didn't even press pause. <laughs> Obviously, Alexa thought you had you heard too much of that song, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to Google. There it goes. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set it up to 100%. Okay, Google. Set volume to 100. Not too bad. What do you guys think? Can you not hear me? not adjusted anything as far as any equalizers go on the music. It is set at equal bass and equal treble, which is, you know, in the middle. So it doesn't have more or less bass or treble on either one of them. Of course, without adjusting anything, I wish it had more of a bass to it. So now we're going to listen again to the echo. Alexa, set volume to 10. And that's a bit of a disadvantage too, if you have both of the speakers like I do, you may get confused and say, you know, uh, Google set volume to five versus Amazon set it to 100%. Fortunately, I think I've said it a couple of times with Alexa and either it does not register or they set it to, or I believe that she lets me know. Let me see, Alexa, set volume to 100. Sorry, you can only set the volume between 0 and 10. Well, there you go. <laughs> She'll let you know. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and test that out. I don't know about you, but I think Amazon might win on that one. What do you guys think? You guys think so? Again, I have not changed anything on the equalizer. Everything's on a default setting. For all, my personal opinion, Amazon wins with the sound. And a bonus tip for you guys, one of the things that you that's really cool, if you don't want to hear Alexa's voice and you want to hear somebody else, they do have other options that you can download, such as Samuel Jackson. And I'm going to show you, all you got to do is call out the name. Hey, Samuel. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't that the coolest thing? Now, that one might not be family friendly, <laughs> depending on what you ask him. So if you do decide to download another voice for Alexa, just kind of keep that in mind, depending on what you pick. They do have other options, but that one's my favorite. So <laughs> I absolutely love it. If you wake up in a, you know, not such a happy mood, you can easily talk to Samuel versus... Alexa, it's up to you, or any other options that they have available. I do know those two for sure. Any other ones, I'm not 100% sure uh, what other options they do have available, but I do know that there's other ones. If you have any questions, please let me know. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and listen to my music on Amazon. In the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.